This is actually an updated tutorial from one I previously did, and a few people have left comments on issues that they've been having. So I'm going to start by showing you how to fix this issue and delete the folder if it won't delete it, and then I'll respond to some of the issues other people have had. The main thing to start with is just make sure this is actually the issue that you're having, that it could not find this item no longer located in the path. First thing you want to do is go to your command prompt, right click on it, run as administrator. Within your command prompt, you're going to want to type this in, and I'll paste this down into the notes below. I want to emphasize this, it's really important that you do this correctly. If you enter the wrong path, that's how you end up deleting the wrong thing. So next what we're going to need is we're going to need the path of this folder. So you can just grab that from the address bar. Now obviously yours is going to be different from mine. It might be on your desktop, it might be somewhere else. When you paste that in there, hit enter. Now you're going to have this option here. Are you sure you want to do it? Again. Be sure that that path is correct. If you are deleting a folder that's on your desktop, and let's say you enter a path without the final address, so in this case, without the tutorials and templates old, you're gonna delete your desktop, and you're gonna to have to then reinstall that. So if you are sure, hit Y. So you'll notice here, it deleted the folder. So that's basically how you fix this. It's pretty simple. So let's say, for example, of people that have a folder on their desktop and are accidentally deleting their desktop. So I paste in the initial command just like before. I'm going to grab the path. I'm going to paste that in. Now if you see, it's basically saying C drive, user, me, desktop demo. If you paste something like this in there without the word demo, which is the folder, you're basically telling it to delete the desktop. This is one of the two issues that people are having. You wanna make sure you're entering the path correctly before you hit delete. Next up, system cannot find the path specified. So if you notice what I pasted in here, there's a space in between that slash and the letter C. So this is the other issue people keep getting and commenting about that it can't find the path specified. It's because they're not pasting the path correctly. There's a space. So you need to make sure that you're pasting that path correctly. So it all comes down to making sure you're entering the path correctly, no spaces, and the correct name for it. If you do that, you shouldn't have any issue deleting this folder. If the issue is this issue, could not find this item, this is no longer located in path, verify the location and try again. If you're still having an issue, I can't help you. Uh, you might try contacting Microsoft since they are the ones that make the product that you're having an issue with. Although I know, I know that getting through to customer service with some of these large companies, is like pulling a tooth out with a pair of pliers. So uh, hopefully this solves your problem. Just to reiterate, if it doesn't, please don't complain to me. I can't help you. But most likely, if you're getting, you're deleting the wrong folder or your desktop, it's the path. If you have a space, you're going to get that, could not find the path. Just make sure you're entering it correctly. You can change the name of the folder if you want to make it easier for you.